Today we pause to remember the heroes of D-Day. And 22 News anchor Rich Tenemer explains what happened on June 6, 1944, and how that longest day changed the course of history. They were mostly kids, 18, 19, 20 years old. Young Americans far from home, getting tossed around in landing crafts on the choppy waters of the English Channel, or parachuting behind enemy lines in the dark of night into the farm fields of occupied France. The Nazi regime had overtaken Europe in 1940, and now four years later, Operation Overlord was taking place. The coast of Normandy in northwestern France was chosen as the site of the invasion, with the Americans assigned to land at beaches codenamed Utah and Omaha the British at Sword and Gold, and the Canadians at Juneau. The invasion will be carried out by 160,000 men, 1,200 aircraft, and 5,000 ships, the biggest assault ever attempted. The Germans had fortifications all along the coast, from Spain to Norway, and there was heavy resistance at Omaha Beach. Americans took the brunt of a brutal onslaught. An estimated 6,600 Americans were killed, wounded or missing in action on D-Day. But a combination of courage, determination and firepower allowed the Allies to gain a foothold on the continent. And that led to the liberation of Paris later that summer and the final victory in Europe in May 1945. 16 million Americans served in the military during World War II. It's estimated that fewer than 120,000 of those veterans are still alive. They're known as the greatest generation, and 80 years ago, it wasn't just the most important day of the 20th century. It was the day that all generations who follow them should never forget. We pay tribute to those who laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. I'm Rich Tedemer, 22 News.